there, Gemini. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so just take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't fit your situation, okay? If none of this fits your situation, just try a different message. Um, real quick while I've got you, I did open phase two. So if you guys want some more in-depth readings on collectively what's going on, there are advanced readings. If you guys are interested in that, go ahead and that, how to book with me, everything is in the description box below, okay? But yeah, let's see what we've got for Gemini. What's coming through? Please and thank you, Spirit, for Gemini. We're going to start with the Work Your Light Oracles. Let's see what we got. For Gemini, please and thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Oh, got two. Awakening. Energetic upgrades. Integration. A new way of being. Could be some new gifts going on. Could be a, oh, I'm hearing a rise in, it feels like lucky moments. Like things are really going in your favor right now. A series of very fortunate events, as a matter of fact, is what I'm getting with this, Gemini. I like it a lot. Oh, with any awakening, you're going to have a lot of energy. Be very mindful who you're giving it to. The vampires will come out of the woodwork, okay? Be very, very careful. If you are going through an energetic upgrade or feeling really, really high vibrational, really positive, um, you've got a lot of winds coming in right now, like I said, just be very careful who is in your ear and in your space, in your head too, or your heart. Just be very, very mindful, okay? Um, we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. So everything that's going on right now, specifically surrounding your awakening, it's on purpose with purpose, just like you. Everything that you are and that you're about right now, that you're doing right now, on purpose with purpose, okay? Do not let anything else come into your picture right now. High alert, <laughs> okay? High alert. Call in help if you need it. You always have help. You always have elementals, spirits, whether it's animals or ancestors, your guide. We have a guide. The paths we're on have guides. The people we come across have their guides as well, right? So there's a lot of energy around you, even if it's not physical people. Call in for help, all right? And we, yes, exactly. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. Ask for help, but also be willing to let that help come in. Okay? Um, rest, retreat, and be held. There is something that you're retreating from. There is something that you're not putting your time and energy and uh, focus on right now. Now is the time of resting, of taking it all in, enjoying this new energy, and... It's almost like you have this new ability to love or function at just a higher capacity. And instead of going all crazy with all this extra energy, you're really learning how to harness it and not let it, um, not let it shake you up too much. Not let it overwhelm you. This feels like a lesson in control. And it's intense, Gemini. Y'all on a whole nother level of some stuff right now. Wow, you're so powerful. I think you know that. Um, oh, wow, you are so powerful, Gemini. Let's see what we get from the Angel Tarot. For Gemini, please and thank you. I feel like you have done so much to help not just yourself and your situation, but the people around you. I feel like... I'm speaking to, to a Gemini or a cross watcher, anybody that was drawn here, that you spend so much time trying to help others. You might even compare your stories to them to help them understand that they're connecting with somebody who's lived it. Like, I've been there. I've done that. Or the same thing happened to me. The best advice I can give you is dot, dot, dot. And when people apply your advice to their same situation or extremely similar situation, some of y'all don't even realize you are saving a life. You're an earth angel. 
So um, very powerful, very powerful Gemini. Are we good? Does he need something? Sweet. Okay, I got you. My little helper over here. So let's go ahead and see what we've got from the Angel Tarot for Gemini in regards to this reading. Please and thank you. The King of Cups, God seeing everything. Restitution finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. So whoever is trying to take whatever they're trying to take, it's going to be replaced. So this is telling me here, as long as you have good intention, Gemini, even if you try to help somebody and then later on find out that person was not somebody that was actually going to accept your help or that you should have asked for help from, whatever it is, you're being protected. So if this person comes around to either take advantage of you, take your energy, um, bear the fruits of your labor, right? Pull up a seat at your table and, and help themselves to your feast. You're, it's going to be returned. Whatever they're taking from you, it's going to make its way back through love. I feel like you put out so much love and comfort for others that it's your turn to receive it. And in receiving it, you're like, it's really easy to love people, isn't it? It's also difficult to accept the love because you're so worried about attachments. People later on holding it over your head and making you feel guilty. Well, I did this for you. And you're like, well, I did that for you, right? Like we had each other's back then, or we had each other's back in that situation. So like, yeah, if somebody took something from you, including took advantage of you, wasted your time, that's all getting replenished. That's all getting, um, Return to you. Yes, the Ten of Cups. You got the Ten of Cups. That is, this has been coming out for a lot of people now, I'm noticing. Um, happily ever energy. Happily ever after energy. God, master of the universe. Divine warrior, confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. Some of you guys might have to kick out these negative energies from your life, from your situation, from your daily routines, whatever. For others of you, if you're in a position where you cannot physically remove somebody, you cannot tell somebody to go fuck off, the divine is going to do it for you. If the divine has to step in to assist you, ask them and they will. That's what this is telling me. Also, for those of you guys that are trying to keep somebody around when you know it's their time to exit your path, your lane, it, it's time for, you know, your paths are going separate ways. Life is going to pull you in different directions. Um, if you've been trying to fight that, this might really take it out of you, all right? So try to allow this divine plan to do what it needs to do because you're going to end up in a much better place as these series of very fortunate events continue. I feel like it's going to keep, keep on keeping on, you know what I mean? This is a, a gravy train if, if you catch my drift, right? just keeps pouring and pouring and blessings and blessings and yeah and now we have the hermit word of god creating all alchemy and transformation mm -hmm. rules natural events this is natural helps with spiritual progress I, you guys it, it's perfect that fits perfectly with what we're talking about i love it i love what i do Cards don't lie, right? Cards don't lie. So King of Cups to the Ten of Cups, you have mastered love. You have mastered emotions. And the Hermit is saying to keep to yourself right now. Because there is definitely people and situations around you that are not going to honor your work. They are not going to have the same morals and values as you. They are not going to put forth as much effort as you are putting forth and your blessings are for you, not them. You might want to share with people that are not meant to receive that. And um, it could either A, make your blessings take longer to come in. Or B, 
the divine is going to pull this person out of your life for you so that these blessings can come in. I'm hearing it's time. Time is up. Time is up. If you haven't removed what you need to remove, the divine is going to do it for you because you have a mission here <laughs> and there's a, there's a deadline. There's a timeline here. Divine timing is absolutely at play here. Let's go ahead and see what the sacred, uh, no, I'm sorry, the naked heart tarot wants to put forth here. Wants to bring to the table. My words are back and forth. Oh, if you're new to channeling messages like this, get used to that. That's definitely a part of the process as somebody that's been channeling and reading tarot for like, what, four years now? Um, I still do it. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> So when you channel the information and you try to use our English language or whatever language to interpret the message, don't be surprised if weird words come out at first. For any, for any newbies that are here. All right, let's see. For Gemini, please and thank you. Yeah, the lovers. It's your choice. It's your decision. There are absolutely soulmates in your life um, on purpose, with purpose. And then the divine has also chosen something really powerful, really beautiful, and a couple of soulmates for you. And if, if you don't make the room, I'm telling you, the divine is going to make you make the room by making the room for you. It's almost like... I'm kind of getting, okay, so I'm a mother and I've had to tell my children before, if you don't have this picked up in 10 or 15 minutes, I will come in here and pick up and anything I pick up is going straight in the trash. So it's up to you. Do you want to take care of your things and keep them or does mommy have to keep doing it? In which case I'm just going to get rid of it, right? Something along those lines. I didn't, it's about respect, you know, keeping your things whatever never mind parents will understand it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it was just an example anyways and now we're going to argue semantics i'm not doing that yeah the magician in reverse you cannot manifest you cannot receive until you have everything you need but with it being in reverse you either have things that you don't need that are getting in the way or you're lacking something i don't think you're necessarily lacking anything here other than maybe the room, so the divine is, or you are making that room, but for the most part, I think that it's just um, a blockage from what you're trying to manifest. So I feel like the divine is giving you all the signs and signals of who, what, when, where, why needs to go, and if you don't, they will. Nine of Cups, yeah, and the Chariot, and then the Ten of Cups, you just got that out of both decks. Yep, and the Death card. If you don't end it, the divine will. Because there is a rebirth. There is something new, something new, something new. And it is the divine's plan. It's the divine's plan. So either you do it or the divine's going to do it, but it's going to get done, right? Either you pick up your toys or I pick up your toys. Either way, the toys are getting picked up. So I don't step on them in the middle of the night if I got to go to the bathroom or need to drink uh, a drink of water or something, you know? Or if the baby wakes up, <laughs> whatever it is. So, yeah, um, you could be dealing with Gemini, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio. Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer. A lot of water energy here. Um, but beautiful transformation and... Energetic upgrades, yo. It's beautiful. It's powerful. Don't let this, whatever it is, continue to stand in your way. And for those of you guys that have already let go of this or you're in that process, this is nothing more than a confirmation that, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you should be doing at this time. So you are doing an amazing job. Keep doing it. All right? I love you guys. I will see you in the next one or I'll see you over on phase two for our daily readings. And until next time, stay beautiful.